Dr. Reese provides over 100 workshops, seminars, and keynotes annually throughout the world. Blending wit with wisdom, Dr. Reese helps listeners transform their jobs from mere pensions to passions. He's an award-winning author, lecturer, and consultant. His life experience as an FBI agent retiring as the assistant unit chief at the prestigious behavioral science unit, plus his ongoing leadership as CEO of James Reese & Associates, gives Jim that cutting edge to design for your organization a workshop, seminar, or as a keynote speaker, something that will facilitate your organization's specific needs. How do you make an impact? Well, you know, I've only got a few minutes in front of you, and that's all I need. You can either stay bitter, or you can get better. I can tell you how much time you got left. You got between now and dead. <laughs> what do you plan to do with it? You can sit around complaining that the room is too cold, it's too big, it's too small, your cup is too full, it's too empty, or you can get up in the morning and say, I've got places I need to go. You knock me into my knees, I've already been there once this morning. Get up in the morning and realize that you're a product of yourself, that you've created who you are, and stop blaming other people for where you haven't been or where you're going. I had a policeman when I was still at the FBI National Academy come into my office while we were starting the profiling program, you know, we were traveling around the country interviewing the Mansons and the Berkowitzes and the others, and a cop walked in, he said, Jim, he said, I took your class in stress management here, he said, I'm, I'm 43 years of age, I'm not where I want to be. I said, where'd you hope to be at 43? He said, I'm not sure. I said, you made it. <laughs> I'm good at this. I'm, I got it. I'm a counselor, I picked up on it. I didn't, I didn't just stand there. I said, where did you hope to be at 43? He said, I'm not sure. I said, well, I, your problem is poor self-esteem. It's common among losers. <laughs> no, I didn't tell him that either. But, you know, what are you going to do with somebody that didn't get where they're not going? <laughs> Am I making this easy for you? I hope so. I got a PhD in this stuff, but that's not what it takes. Dr. Reese truly speaks from experience. Listen to what others have said after attending conferences where Dr. Reese was speaking. Dr. Reese is awesome, the best public speaker by far that I have ever experienced. I didn't say the best I've ever seen, because you don't just see and hear Dr. Reese. You feel him along with his message. I don't need to be in business. Business isn't about making money. Business is about providing service to others. And if you provide service, you're going to make it. So whether you're an internal auditor, whether you're into compliance, whether you're security, whether you're the CEO or the last person we hired, it all comes together to form an organization. And organizations are run by ethical people. And you find ethics one person at a time. Thank you so much for the wonderful two hours you gave us at the seminar. You should have heard all the positive comments from our group. Many said that it was the best training they had ever attended. You left us feeling upbeat, motivated, and laughing. Thanks so much. Hope to hear you again. Life is your classroom. Experience is your teacher. Now this, is, this is the key. Life is your classroom. Experience is your teacher. Choices are your tests. And you've already got all the answers. You've got all the answers to the choices that the experiences in life bring you. You've got to decide, am I making good choices? Am I making valuable choices? Are the choices serving me and my organization well? See, you've only really got one option in this business of change, and that is to change you. Your only option in, in working for this organization is to every day try to increase the value of you to the end user of you. Among the many recognitions already mentioned, 
Dr. Reese worked with the cast and crew of the movie Silence of the Lambs and is often quoted on the television series Criminal Minds. I walked into that store and I saw pieces of a profile that I'd given to Virginia PD almost a year ago. Truck in disrepair, disheveled young man, severe stutter. James Reese once said, there are certain clues at a crime scene which by their very nature do not lend themselves to being collected or examined. How does one collect love? Rage, hatred, fear. You can take your car place wherever you want it to go, or you can say, this is a bad market, let's shut down for a while. I've got companies that are reducing their sales. I mean, that's their revenue. Let's figure how much money we make because it's a bad market. That doesn't make any sense to me. So why do I teach logic and they determine whether my logic is correct or not? I tell them, start thinking about what you're thinking about. Then I teach them ethics-based leadership. Leading for a change. Becoming a good follower. Doing the right thing. Being the boss you'd like to work for. It's a neat thing.